Silky from Just Tutors and in today's session we are going to learn about five digit numbers and place values. So let us move ahead and have a look at the objectives of today's session. We are going to learn about five digit numbers, numbers in words and figures, expanded form of a number and place value. Let us move ahead and try out these warm up questions. So you can try these questions by pausing the video and you can resume it back once you are done. I'm sure you must have solved all the questions by now. So let us have a quick check of all the questions and I would like to congratulate you for trying so hard to solve these questions. Moving ahead, let us begin with our first topic which is a five digit number. So what is the largest four digit number? It is 9999. So which number comes next? To get this number we have to add 1 to 9999. Let us do it here in this place value chart. So as you can see 9999 is already written we have to add 1 to it. Adding 1 to it we get 10,000. So can you tell me how many digits are there in 10,000? As you can see there are five digits and do you know what column is this called? The column which is before thousands. It is called 10,000 and it is written as T T H. So whenever you are talking about five digit number you are talking about a number which is greater than or equal to 10,000. So let us move ahead. Now let us learn how to read and write five digit numbers. So now let us see how do we read a five digit number here in the place value chart. So whenever we are re reading a five digit number we read the digits of 10,000's column and the thousands column together. So 12 is read together. So you can read the above number as 12,357. Let us move ahead and try to solve a few questions related to reading and writing five digit numbers. So how would you read this number which is given here in the place value chart? Again keep the rule in mind you have to keep ten thousands and the thousands column together. So try to write down the above number in words. I'm sure you must have tried out these questions so here are the answers for them. Now check out these answers and let us move forward. So now we are going to do the topic expanded form. So what do you understand by expanded form? When we expand a number we show the value of each digit of that number. So for example 536. We expand it as 500 at 30 at 6. We have taken each digit from each column and we have written down the values of each digit. So same way for 9086. 9000 add 80 add 6. As you can see as we have a 0 at the hundreds column so we need not write 0 in the expanded form. So could you try to expand this number 15,968. We can do it together. So the first is 10,000 5, add 5,000 add 900 and as you can see it's written add 60 add 8. I'm sure you must have understood the meaning of expanded form and how to write it in expanded form. So let us move ahead and do the last topic of today's lesson which is place value. So to know the place value of each digit in a number, first we try to write the number in the expanded form. Could you please try to read the number here? I'm, I'm, I'm sure you must have read the number correctly, remembering the rule that we have to keep the ten thousands place and the thousands place together. So it is read as 87,695. Now we have written this number in expanded form. So in the given number the value of each digit depends upon its place. The place of a digit determines its value. 
So, for example, the place value of 8 is 10 thousands in this number. The place value of 7 is thousands in this number. Similarly, let us try quickly this question. What is the place value of underlying digit in 15,336? It is clear that the place value is thousands as it is at the thousands column. So let us move ahead and here we are to the practice questions. Pause the video, try out these questions and once you are done, resume it back. I'm sure you must have solved all the questions. Pat your back if you have got all of them correct. So thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit justutors.com.